this will motivate me, not only me, but also those who are looking up to me. So I say a being said, I just can't express it by words of mouth. I hope God will reward you accordingly. As they say, no matter how your heart is grieving, if you keep on believing, the dreams that you wish will come through. That was the kind of a dream that 19 years old Hawa Muhammad had for so long before she realized her dream come through hours after Garissa governor Nadif Jama donated 249,000 Kenya shilling in order to support her medical course at the University of Nairobi. As the county governor, I have here uh, another daughter of mine, another daughter of the county government, um, Madame Hawa who has been admitted to the University of Nairobi to study medicine. And um, just the other day, we had another daughter of the county who also got admission for medicine at uh, uh, the University of uh, uh, University in Uganda, the uh, Kampala International University. I'm happy that um, today again we're hosting here uh, 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 this young daughter of ours, who is um, almost um, now uh, nearing, I think we are now almost about 80 plus students of medicine and engineering uh, who uh, we are paying for to support their studies in medicine and in engineering. Coming from a very low income family, living in the dusty terrain of Kotile in Masalani, Gariza County, she narrates her emotional educational journey of hardship and tribulation as she receives her check from Garissa Governor Nadif Jama today in Garissa. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Uh, today I'm very glad. First of all, I'm thanking the Almighty Allah for allowing me to have such a, such a scholarship. I think so many people have excelled just like me, but they are not lucky enough. Not everyone is holding shilling two, 249,500. I can say it's not a job. So I'm grateful to Allah, to my parents who helped me reach all this along, and also to our able leaders, and everyone who had a hand in it. I'm telling you, this is a great inspiration, not only for me, not only for my parents, but all those, those children back at home who are looking up to me from the time I was in primary school. Because as a matter of fact, I have been leading from the time I was taken to class one. I didn't start my school from nursery or kindergarten. I was taken straight to class one. And from that time I have been leading up to the time I left class eight. My studies was the dream that I had. I always dreamt of being a medical doctor to study medicine and surgery in the University of Nairobi specifically, and to further it to be a gynecologist by profession, inshallah. So I think this will motivate me, not only me, but also those who are looking up to me. So I say a being thank you. I just can't express it by words of mouth. I hope God will reward you accordingly. Thank you. Excellent. Howard joins over 100 scholarship beneficiaries that the county government of Garis has sponsored in order to support the needy and bright students pursuing science and medical related courses in Kenya and abroad. How a scholarship support by the county government of Garissa came two days later after Garissa governor Nadiv Jama sponsored Lady Anissa after she failed to pursue her medical career despite her exemplary achievement in high school. A common and a stumbling block that always obstructed bright but needy students in this region from pursuing the career of choice. A delighted and emotional mother of Hawa expressed her in-depth joyous moment that brightens her daughter's path, calling it an extraordinary dream that came through. <laughs> Thank you.
on his part, Governor Jama said that education had been the topmost priority of his government and reaffirming that his administration will continue to support the bright but needy students who are pursuing various technical courses that are of paramount importance to the community.